Hey guys, hello and welcome to day three of HSBC's Colombo Fashion Week, uh, summer 2021. It's been incredible, day one and two. Uh, the final one today, uh, me and Sonori are going to be taking you around, showing you some of the incredible pieces, uh, checking out some of the wonderful uh, showcases tonight as well as uh, the place is filling up. So we're going to be talking to a few people too. Excited? I am really excited and more than that, I'm excited to see the lineup of designers we have today. And like Lloyd said, we're going to show you what it's all about. So follow us as we take you through day three of HSBC Presents Colombo Fashion Week. Hi guys, it's Lloyd. We're at the, at the HSBC Colombo Fashion Week Day 3. We're wrapping it all up. Uh, it's been a wonderful show. Nadisha, thank you so much for joining us. And you guys have been a big part of this, you know. Of course, we'll talk about that. Uh, but in terms of uh, this partnership, what does it mean for your clients, uh, personal banking customers, and uh, for anyone that invests or works with you guys? Because um, HSBC is making a move towards sustainability, uh, eco-friendly, um, you know, uh, campaigns, and that sort of thing. Uh, so if you can explain the importance of this partnership, please. Yeah. Hi, thank you, Lloyd. Um, thanks for having me. Right? So at HSBC, we are trying to put, uh, we are putting together people, ideas, and capital uh, to support um, uh, progress and, and nurture growth of our clients as well as the communities that we serve. So with uh, Colombo Fashion Week, for the last 14 years, we've been in this partnership to promote uh, fashion design in Sri Lanka. And the Colombo Fashion Week as an event has become very popular uh, within our uh, client segments, largely because, the, because of the curated experience that uh, we've been trying to create year on year. So what is more important Lloyd, uh, is, is also is um, this year, uh, we also uh, introduced something really, really special. That is the HSBC Next Gen Emerging uh, uh, Design Fund, which is largely looking at promoting the emerging talent fashion design in Sri Lanka. Now, what we're trying to do is, what, through some research, we found out that the both um, in terms of uh, promoting fashion design in Sri Lanka, technical resources and financial resources is a constraint for the young emerging talented uh, designers in Sri Lanka. So, together with Kalam Fashion Week, what we're trying to do is. We come together in creating this fund where we would grant a fund of about quarter million rupees for the top five uh, fashion designers that have been picked up through a process and Colombo Fashion Week will come together in providing mentoring, coaching and guidance in terms of technical support and we believe this is a fantastic opportunity for our young fashion talent uh, designers uh, to, to, to make use of it and to promote fashion design in Sri Lanka to the next level. I think it's a, it's a wonderful move by the bank, I think helping out people that are coming up and coming. Um, great work, thank you for your time and have a great night, thank you. I'm going to ask you, what are you going for this year, what the theme is, uh, what are you trying to do differently this year? Um, well, this year, the biggest theme we have for CFW is that we're talking about circularity. What is circularity to us is, has been important from the get-go. Now, we are over a decade here. What are we doing as a fashion industry? Are we ensuring that the legacy we leave behind is not just like, you know, garbage dumps full of clothes? Are we looking at how clothes, us, uh, clothes have a longevity, a life beyond like maybe one or two wears? And then I think you can see it in the way the, the shows are structured the spacing in between, how we have allowed certain models to like walk in a certain speed or in a certain space. Circularity is a big part of the choreography and if you're at the shows you'll definitely see it. Fazina, wonderful show by the way, loved uh, day one and two. Uh, just asking you about the theme this year, circularity, uh, there's a broader sense of it, you know, there's so much to it. Uh, what are you guys really going for this year? Like in terms of fashion, not just a showing, but also there's uh, a big message behind it. So. Uh, yes, so uh, circularity in fashion or responsible, responsibility in fashion has been one of the core visions of what we do with CFW. And in that space, uh, this year we've dedicated computer circularity, which is a very pressing need uh, at this time. It has always been a pressing need, but 
However, I think uh, it's been brought to the forefront now. So uh, everything we do is around that. We encourage designers, younger designers. So we do this in many different aspects. Uh, we start out with from the designing space. We make sure during our design development system with the younger designers, we make sure that uh, everything they do comes from that space. So that ground up, they start with being sustainable in a certain manner. Um, making sure the garments that are that the resources they use are reusable, um, they design with a, a disposal mindset, design with a purpose in mind to make sure that this doesn't end up in any of the landfills. Why we do that? So this season, another important thing because responsibility in fashion, uh, one of the aspects is a societal well-being. Uh, uh, based on that, we partnered with the UNFPA this season. Uh, to bring awareness to gender-based violence. I think it's a very important uh, subject to talk about. Um, lots don't talk about it, so uh, in that aspect it ties in very well with what we do in terms of responsibility in fashion and the societal impact and that's what this season has been about. Uh, just asking you now how fashion is becoming more uh, sustainable, more eco-friendly, more responsible. How do you think uh, we can all make a difference on a personal level? Well, I of course uh, always remember to uh, shuffle my clothes. I don't just go, go somewhere and get it done, anything special. Okay. But whatever I have, I always shuffle it because I think that's how we need to be with the sustainability. How has the whole journey been coming into CFW, putting your line out? Uh, so basically, I think it was the whole journey, like right from the start, how we managed to learn so much from all the feedback sessions that we got and actually trying to understand how we as a designer can contribute to circularity in fashion and in addition, bringing out our own personality through our brands. So I think that was the highlight. So Sangeeta, today at day three of Colombo Fashion Week, which designer are you most looking forward to seeing on the runway? Well, today would be a very special day for me because my BFF is showcasing his designs, Dananche Bandara. So my first lookout is for him. And of course, uh, also, um, I love what Sonali does. So I'm definitely on a lookout for her and Asla. you uh, and what have you thought of Colombo Fashion Week so far? I always hold Colombo Fashion Week at the highest esteem okay and uh, I know there's a lot of work a lot of planning a lot of uh, hard uh, uh, what can I say uh, yeah planning going into it uh, not just the, uh, the producers Colombo Fashion Week but also the models HSBC Premier customer. Tell us about the club. Um, you know the benefits, the pros, uh, being a customer. Explain that experience to us. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, so I've been a premier uh, premier customer for about three years now, and I think that exclusivity that they provide, and especially the service. I mean, sometimes you know when you've got a question, middle of the night, you can still call your customer relationship manager. He or she will make sure everything's done properly. And they also have these wonderful events that they put together and they have it for like the golf days, they've got some premier customer events, so yeah, fantastic. Omesh, who have you enjoyed so far on the runway? Uh, well, I loved uh, the show that I so far. But I think I love the uh, Agara collection because I see uh, maybe myself wearing one of 
or play like I mean it's exciting because uh, it's so refreshing to see her collection. Any particular bridal wear that you like? Um, I actually liked uh, Dananjay Bandara's uh, outfit and also Charini, she's my cousin, so I, anyway, I have to say I like it. And also I think all the bridal out outfits are nice and uh, he loved uh, Asanka's collection as well. Yeah, the Lovi outfits. We are anyway fans of Lovi. This year's theme being circularity in fashion and being all about sustainability, how do you two incorporate that into your wardrobe? Uh, yes, uh, now the trend and of course the focus is on the environment and you know, uh, recycling uh, stuff, uh, maybe reusing uh, material. So I think uh, that's that's where the trend is uh, setting on to. And I think, uh, but uh, she's actually the one who's, who, who's into the, you know, uh, who looks after my wardrobe as well. So. Uh, uh, I think uh, even Sri Lanka keeping a step uh, towards that is also I think it's a, it's a good thing. I think it, it should be taken to the uh, mass uh, crowd as well. I want to know how was your experience so far modeling for CFW and especially wearing Aslam Hussein's number. I'm so grateful to be wearing Aslam Hussein as, as he's also my one of my very like favorite um, designers. It was really exciting and fun as well. Um, yeah, so a lot of hard work and effort has gone into this outfit even though we like ramped it only for a few minutes. So we would like to appreciate the hard work and the effort that uh, the entire team has put into it.